Hello, students. Um, we started quite a long time ago the process of um, collecting data with reaction time. You wrote your own experiment, but not everybody collected data. So when we got back from Christmas break, um, most of us took the time to do a survey where we asked questions like, um, how much sleep did you get last night? And what sports do you play? And then you did a reaction time where the screen was green and or green. And when it turned red, you had to click the button. And it measured how long it took you to click that space bar. And that was how we measured reaction time. So what we're going to be doing for our next summative is we are going to be looking at that data and analyzing it to try to answer a question. Okay, so I came up with this slideshow that has everything you could possibly need to be successful for this project. Okay, so for this summative, we are just doing processing, collecting, at, organizing, transforming, interpreting, describing that data. So right here, you make sure you put your slideshow in present mode and then it's clickable. Okay, so the checklist, this is where you start. Do the first thing before you do the second thing. Don't worry about what's down here until you finish what's up here. Okay, so it says review the four slides. What is reaction time? This is an overview of what reaction time is. Okay, you have a stimulus, you have a response. The time between the stimulus and the response is your reaction time. And this is the science behind it. Okay, I'll make sure you take a look at that. Let's go back to the checklist. Okay, so on Google Classroom, you were given in the, under the Wednesday Skills Days, a list of independent variables that we studied. Okay, so you're gonna go to there. This is what it looks like. It has a whole bunch of data that we collected, okay? Gender assigned at birth, practice, listening to favorite music, least favorite music, number of servings of caffeine. You're gonna pick the data that you want to analyze and you turn it into a question. For example, if it's practice, you would ask, what is the effect of practice on reaction time? Okay, so let's go back here. And so that's what you're going to do. You're going to do that. You're going to pick a few and they're leveled by difficulty. One, two, three, and four. And here are the levels. So after you select a question, then you're going to do the first page of the report. Also a link up here, your report. You're going to fill up the first page only. Okay. checklist. Um, then you are going to get this spreadsheet. You can get it on Google Classroom or right there. This has all the data from the experiment that we did. We already did this experiment. Okay, you're not going to do it again. We already did this. Okay, so down here there are these tabs and this is where you're going to find your data. Okay, um, and it's slow right now, but as you click through, it will um, come up with all the data you need. Okay, so find the one that you need. Did you want to know about how much practice or hours of sleep? You tick, click the tab to find the data. Okay. And the next thing you're going to do is if you need information on how to sort, and calculate averages. There's a video here that I made, and then you're going to start your graph. And that's all you're gonna have time for this first working 